I can't help but share this with you. <laughs> it's from uh, The Imitation of Christ by Thomas Akempis. And we've been studying this in our Vedic Christianity class on Thursday nights. And uh, I read this to the class tonight, and I was just transported by it. It's such a beautiful ode to love, as it were. It's a long reading. So just sit back and enjoy this beautiful ode to love. Nothing, nothing is sweeter than love. Nothing is higher, nothing stronger, nothing larger, nothing more joyful, nothing fuller, nothing better in heaven or on earth. For love is born of God and can find its rest only in God above all of his created things. Such lovers fly high, run swiftly, and rejoice. Their souls are free. They give all for all and have all in all, for they rest in the one supreme goodness above all things, for whom all other good flows and proceeds. They look not only at the gifts, but at the giver, who is above all the gifts. Love knows no limits, but is fervent above all measure. It feels no burden and makes light of labor. Desiring to do more than it is able, nothing is impossible to love, for it thinks that it can and may do all things for the beloved. Therefore it does and affects many things, while those who do not love falter and fail, Love is ever watchful. It rests, but it does not sleep. Though weary, it is not tired. Restricted, it is not hindered. Although it seems, although it sees reason to fear, it is not dismayed. But like a spark of fire or a burning flame, it blazes upward to God by the fervor of its love, and through the help of his grace, is delivered from all dangers. Those who love thus know well what their voices mean when they cry out to God with all the ardor of their soul. You, Lord God, are my whole love and all of my desire. You are all mine and I am all yours. Let my heart expand in your love. Let me learn how to know how sweet it is to serve you how joyful it is to praise you and to be dissolved in your love. Oh, I am possessed by love and rise above myself because of the great fervor I feel through your infinite goodness. I will sing the canticle of love to you and will follow you, my beloved, wherever you go. And may my soul never weary of praising you Rejoicing in your love, I will love you more than myself, and myself only for your sake. I will love all others in you and for you, as your law of love commands.